Hello YouTube, Model Train 9500 here. Uh, this video is how I'm going to join the scenery of this table to this table. Because when I made this, uh, these are two separate tables here. Uh, this one's a 4x4 four four sheet of plywood, this one's a 4x8. I connected the track there. That th there's, they're not glued down to anything there, they just separate. And uh, as you can see here, the two frames of the tables meet. So what I did is I got first I have these little pegs, and they slide in just like that, in each one. So when you assemble and disassemble the table, it keeps it aligned, and I have those there. So I was trying to figure this out for a while, how I'm going to connect it. I thought I could make a sheet that would cover this whole area and then just set it down when the table needs to be here, but I came up with a better idea. It uses this extruded foam, uses sheets like this. I got a, I think this is a one inch instead of the two. And I cut it so that there's little holes here so that it will fit when it goes across those little pegs. Like that, just like that, yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'll glue this one down just and I'm going to glue it right on the edge here. So I didn't really need to cut those little notches so it would fit right there. But I, uh, I did anyway, so oh. So these probably need to be glued, screwed down a bit tighter. But uh, anyways, yep, I'm going to glue that down like that. So I'll just set this camera like this if I can. Alright, so I'll take the glue and use this caulking gun. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna glue it onto the bottom of this. I think that would be better. Oh, that's messy. So, you know what? I'll just set that there like that and smear it using my hand. If you have a good caulking gun, I don't recommend doing this because this is uh, obviously very, very messy. And then the idea is, once this is glued down, I'll use plaster cloth to go over and connect the scenery. And the one, I'll do two for each table. They will both fit on the bottom. They'll probably be different shapes. Well, actually, on the bottom, they'll probably be the same. But on the top ridge where the plaster cloth connects, I will uh, make them be identical so that you'll only see a tiny little crack on the whole scenery. See here, I'm getting the glue. So that you won't really be able to... I mean, obviously, you'll see, if you look hard for it, you'll see it. But it won't be as exaggerated, and it'll still look pretty clean. So right now, I'm just putting more glue on. This is absolutely disgusting. See there, I'm getting it all solid on there. If you hear that in the background, that's my dad learning to play the saxophone. We're trying to. So here we go. We got most of the glue on here. Let's put a little bit more in the end there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just take this and set it down. So I'll set it here and slide it over. And push it down. Make sure that glue sticks. Make sure it's pushed up to the very edge. it's not up to the very edge you're not gonna it's gonna look kind of sloppy when you go do the plastic cloth so now I'll just 
Got a good seal on the edge here. And see there isn't, it fits very flush up against the side there. Just like that. And I'm working this glue in just to make sure that it gets a good seal. Oh wow. And carefully don't step on your vacuum cleaner. That's never fun. Uh-oh. Be careful you don't glue your two tables together. All right, and then I recommend that before you let everything set to dry, you check and make sure your pegs make it through. That one does. Good. Ah, I apologize. It's kind of hard working with a camera when you have one hand to work with. All right, see that one fits good. And lastly, uh, right, we're good. Okay. So uh, after that, what I'm going to do, look for a part two of this video, and I'll go over um, how... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go to part two yet. What you do next is... Forgive me, because I'm designing this method myself as I go. Um, what Basically, what you're going to do is get another sheet of this foam and cut it to be about the same and then mark your holes over here for the pegs and then uh, look for part two to see what you do next thank you for watching and look for part two